Nothing like summer vacation and fighting a bunch of trained adult assassins. <laughs> Amazing. It's fine though, because we have these kids and we have Karasuma Sensei, and even if he's down, these kids are super trained. Even if Koro Sensei is, you know, not there, all the kids are having their moments to shine. Even Fuwa having this like logical deduction. Ha, <laughs> gotcha. That's when you, you know, poisoned us, right? Everyone's having their moments, and right now it's Karma's moment. Karma versus the gripper. I don't know what's gonna happen. If we get cut once, I think that we're pretty much cooked. I think that we should assume that Karma might take one hit. And maybe that's gonna make us think that it's gonna be over. But maybe it's gonna be like, sure, I'll tank one hit, then I'll get like a killing blow or something. Do you think Karma's gonna actually kill an adult? Let's begin today's reaction. Recap? <laughs> Recap time. Beat Sensei popped off. 20 minutes. Chin down Karma. Ooh, true. Take the bait. Take the bait, F. It's a bait. It's a faint. The grip, bro. Scary, this is scary. One touch and you're done. Come on, come on, come No difference? Maybe, but still, it's crazy in person. Karasuna taught him all this Taijutsu defense. He just learned by watching? Too talented. <laughs> Bro literally just watched and copied Karasuma's defensive techniques. It's crazy though how this is actually like a grade 9 versus a grown ass adult. Because these are like junior high, student, five, like seniors, right? Not in high school yet, not grade 10. This is grade 9 versus adults. Oh. Are we planning something? We're buying time? Oh, now he will try. <laughs> Shit. When a person starts jumping around in place like this during a street fight, you're probably cooked. The other thing? <laughs> The jumping is probably a good sign. If a person takes their shirt off, I don't like. I I, I have a hobby of watching a lot of street fights. It's <laughs> just basically a bunch of world star hip hop, you know, clips. I noticed that the win rate of dudes that take their shirt off during a fight loses. And usually those street fights will end if someone like basically the determining factor is do they have their shirt on or off and. If they get tackled, like if they get one slam onto the ground, it's a wrap. No street fight has ever been reversed from what I've seen, where a guy just takes the guy's legs and just like suplexes them or just like tackles them into the ground. Then it's just over. Okay, okay. Wait, did he kick him in the dick there? No, I thought that he literally went for the cross shot. <laughs> Die, 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 femur. Brother. You really relied on fucking poison gas as a grown-ass fucking man with the grip strength of like 300 kilograms. You're fighting a grade 9 student and you do, oh, my leg. Oh, gotcha. Pshh. I mean, it's not supposed to be a fair fight, but damn. That is cringe. <laughs> I mean, if you want to win, you should do whatever it takes, but... I mean, it's not a fair fight, though. This is not an honorable duel between warriors. We're literally trying to assassinate. Ooh. Yo, who's gonna come in and clutch for Karma? Maybe Karma's faking it. Ooh, no reverse card. When? When? Did Karma fake it? Karma red. Karma understood that he was going to do it somehow. Just covered his nose, everything. Faked him getting hit by a poison. Reversal? We had our own from earlier. 
from earlier. We took it from, you know, smog in the lower floors. And he basically covered his mouth with tissue. That's all it needed to, you know, counter this gas. <laughs> He knew he was gonna do it. Dog pile of kids. I love how he didn't answer. How did you know I was gonna do it? <laughs> just don't even fucking answer. Karma just built it for him. Alright. Smog. One use only? Alright, it's over. Yeah, how? How did you know? Because the training that we did with Koro sensei enhanced his reaction time and foresight? I don't know. Everything but bare hands? So he assumed that he would take no chances, that he would resort to something like a gas attack happening. What is this wholesome piano theme? <laughs> That's right, Korosuse jeering him on. That's a pretty big reach of like not studying for a fucking exam and being this prepared against a fucking hand like combat against an assassin. But I get what you're trying to say, Koro Sensei. Yep. Never underestimate your opponent. Yep. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, God. Karma will go down in history. The sentimental piano thing I thought meant like, you know, we're gonna see eye to eye and he's like, I respect you as a fellow warrior. No, 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 no. Cut the piano song. It's time to put wasabi down your fucking nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time. Torture time. We're gonna mix that shit up? Demon. You just have this in your fucking bag? It says be prepared. The bag here says be prepared. Karma is very prepared. He's having a little fun. Alright, gripper done. We have the gun guy left. And the boss. You think Bitch Sensei is still playing the piano? Be preferred. Okay. Tarasuma needs 30 minutes, right? Alright. Make yourself useful, Onnas. It's time. It's time. This is it. Everything has been building up to this one moment. The girls can't go alone by themselves. And everyone looks like Nagisa. In the opening reaction that I made a couple weeks ago, what did I fucking say? There's gotta be a moment when he cross-dresses to look like a girl to get an assassination in. Now, it's not exactly that. He's just kind of going to be mingling in the group, but here we go. I mean, Nagisa, I ain't gonna lie. You're more feminine than any of the actual other girls here. Like, let's get, let's get serious. B besides maybe this girl in the middle, you are literally more woodable and feminine than them. Come on now. There's a pool and everything. Oh god. Are we going in the pool? The rich kids. Super rich kids. Nagisa, where are you at? Is he gonna fall in love with Nagisa? Also, this is not New York. It's New Jersey. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be. Interesting copyright free hat. He's gonna see Nagisa, right? Yeah, be a man, Nagisa. Be a man and protect us at the front. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. Here is the thumbnail. 
しいけどこういうところはどこにチェック厳しいのだからって。What do you say? Hold up, hold up. We'd like a guy around, but in places like this, they check guys real carefully. Oh, they're gonna be checking for our guy here too, but again, Nagisa is more feminine than any other girl here. Rich is down. Hey, where'd you get these clothes? He just picked them up randomly? He's about to get trapped. Hey, what's up? Hey. Ooh, the girls hate it. Look at those death glares. What? Oh, come on. You're gonna, you're gonna sell out Nagisa like that? Girls have to stick together. Alright. Good luck. <laughs> Wonder what his reaction is gonna be when he realizes that he got trapped. Maybe he's gonna be like, oh. Even better, I've always wanted a femboy girlfriend. Cool guys. Oh, she's smart. What are papas? Nah, you guys are some cool big bros, but we got sugar daddies, okay? We got sugar daddies, and they'd be very mad if they knew that you're trying to hit on us. Okay. Damn, that's a ballsy line. What's the pin? We just have the Yakuza emblem out of nowhere? Is the Yakuza background, actually? It was not her, she just found it randomly. Good job, Yada. I wonder if Yada's gonna have like a moan of importance after this line. Maybe she's just gonna have that one line and no longer important. But it's cool to see other characters get more like lines. Because like, again, there's so many students. It's hard to like appreciate every one of them. <laughs> Alright, Yuji and Nagisa. I'm a soda guy, girl. I'm a soda girl. No, my parents are rich. Wow, flexing his dad's clout. Okay. It's terrible. That's horrendous. It's some Harvey Weinstein shit. Grudge against asses. Yeah, bro, you're relying on your fuck. <laughs> That's even more lame. Oh, my dad? He once, like, groped his girls for 24 hours, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of a loser. Let me pick out the cigarette candy cane. Cringe. Wait, what is this? It's more dangerous? What is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be weed? You know how in, like, um, Charlotte... You know how in Charlotte episode 7, there's a moment where it looked like, you know, they were doing drugs or some shit? And they made it all seem really bad, but it was kind of like weed. I, is it the same shit where it's like Japanese propaganda of like, oh, it's crystal meth. You take one hit of the Zaza, you're cooked. I think that's what this is. Does weed make your life harder? Yeah, probably. Probably, I def- it's I mean, you're definitely not gonna be functioning in like optimal capacity with your brain. But a lot of people use it as like a crutch because like life is hard and you're depressed and you just wanna chill out and maybe you don't, you know, vibe with alcohol so that Zaza's kinda there for you. Force? No one's forcing you. Basically, this rich kid just feels like he's a victim because his dad is so powerful and he's quote-unquote living in the shadows. Not really, man. Bitch sensei had a Yakuza emblem? Just all outfits, okay. Okay. Is she? Okay. Yara-san lore? Oh, this is future Yada. <laughs> she hates girls with tits. Nagisa, where are you at? 
Maggie saw you. <laughs> Wait. We oh no, it's an important lookout that we need a man after all. Yes, let's grab Nagisa. <laughs> What's Nagisa gonna do? Fucking seduce this guy? There's no change. <laughs> Alright, pick her boy up. I mean, girl. Bye. Thanks for the drink. Yeah. Bye bye. You're not cool though. You're so cringe. I don't want to see your signature dance moves. Oh, he's gonna fucking be so cringe. But maybe he's gonna be how like, maybe he'll cause such a commotion that the lookout will get distracted and we can get out so we can use him right now. <laughs> Yeah, I was low-key hoping that he'd start doing this dance. <laughs> and then... <laughs> you know, the actual ass class opening dances? That would have been so funny. But then that's like an insult to those dances, right? We don't want to make, you know, him use those dances and think that it's cringe. <laughs> oh, what do you do? Oh, you idiot! Uh-oh. Now it's a commotion. Million yen jacket? Wait, 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 wait. What's the currency conversion right now? One million yen to USD. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. $6,623 jacket. I can see that. I mean, some jackets, it, it's obviously fucking stupid to spend, you know, $6,000 for a jacket, but like, I could believe that. Okay. Hinata. Another new girl. Do you know who my father is? Yakuza san. Huh? Yakuza san. <laughs> is this a gymnast girl? Holy shit, Hinata is fucking sick. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's taking away the body. Our <laughs> girls are dangerous. Nice, now the lookout is gone too. Perfect. Yuji actually was useful. Let's go. Bye. I don't think Yuji is a bad guy. Yeah, being a guy, how would you know? Chan? Chan. No more weed for you, okay? Wait, what did he say? Cut out the drugs and... <laughs> it's, not, it's not just cut out the drugs and drinking. It's an and dancing. Please, do not dance again. It's so fucking bad. Oh, fuck. All right. The girls did it. Kind of? But the girls handled it. She didn't really like the cross-dressing, huh? What was the point? The fan art? You know, like, Assassination Classroom probably just, like, the ratings probably skyrocketed. Once they, like, debuted, like, Nagisa cross-dressing, I, I bet people are like, what? People love that shit, man. For the fans, it's just pure fan service. And then Yuji, I guess, getting him roped in so he could do his cringe fucking dancing and then create a commotion for the opportunity to get rid of the lookout, but <laughs> clearly it's for the fucking fan service. <laughs> Karma took a picture. <laughs> One for the memory books. I wonder if cross-dressing Nagisa will come back again. Hopefully. Yuji. Yeah, I think maybe, uh... No more Zaza. weed bro I, it's just so funny to me living in north america in vancouver bc where like e even the weed from here it's it's called bc bud that's how like notorious weed is here it, it's just like a it, it's such a common thing here and like japan treats it like it's like the worst thing possible like black tar heroin they dead ass said a joint of marijuana is more deadly than a cigarette. That is so fucking ridiculous. If you break down, no one has ever died from fucking smoking weed. Genuinely. Maybe you'd green out, maybe you could... But the most you're gonna do is fucking puke. Bro, cigarettes are so carcinogenic. It's gonna fucking cause cancer. It's so, so unhealthy, yet because of big cigarette no seriously like the industry right like it's kind of stupid that they're missing out on all the tax revenue and all the money you'd make from making you know weed go like um uh be sold in actual stores like that all licensed but it's it blows my mind how 
like Asia will glaze like and glorify cigarettes and such the unhealthy like um like health like, unhealthy like uh, obsession with it. I'm not saying that weed is healthy either, but comparatively, it's not the fucking same, bro. It's crazy that this shit happens in anime. The propaganda is unreal. <laughs> they really liked Nagasa as a girl. Everyone loved it. Wait, 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 wait. Cut one up. No, no, I do not want my cross dressers and femboys to cut it up. The banana is why it makes it better. Wait, what did it say? Cut one off. I happen to like it. I am not. I happen to like it. He likes his dick? What's, wait, wait, wait. When Karma says it's time to cut up, I'm thinking snip, snip. It, wait, it's not gonna just think I. Wait, 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 what? Alright. Oh shit, here we go. Some scary looking dudes. What weapon? What weapon do we have? Wait, what's that? like a packin'? Kimura, it's your time to shine. Kimura looks. Karma looked like Koro Sensei here with those eyes in the mouth. Kimura, it's your time to shine. You just going in with kindergarten fucking banter? Immediately you try to aggro them? Look at these doo doo heads. Oh my god. Damn, what the fuck? At that point, I would be like. Laughing. I would be like, I'm not even mad. Like, what the hell just happened? Random kid just showed up out of nowhere, called us a fucking muscle head, called us a pig instead of human. I'd be like, who told you to do this? <laughs> but they're muscle heads. So it fucking works out. Tasers. Tasers. When did we get that? You can just buy that shit? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> redemption, redemption. The little pocket money he got from Shiro during that episode. All right, he redeemed himself by buying this shit. I mean, honestly, he redeemed himself in that episode. Terasaka was an absolute idiot, but by the end of the episode, I think he redeemed himself. Yeah, what about it? Do we know them? Karasuma, what do you mean? Their chests. <laughs> bulges. <laughs> Koro says is like, now my student, look at what's in their, you know, pockets. Oh, we got some guns now. Excellent, my student. Yo, Koro says you're kind of terrifying me with this commentary. Mm. <gasps> hey, we're not fucking around, man. Real guns. That's right, the best shooters. The best shooters. Then they gotta shoot an actual fucking gun. No killing. Ah, so much better now. So much ethical. Sensei has, you know, imposed a no killing rule, so it's all good. Alright. Non lethal shots. Yeah. I guess we're gonna get like a gun duel. The ramen gun guy, right? It's that guy in the boss. Maybe there's some others left, who knows? Murderlies? It's the gun guy. His eyes are so just like going in the opposite direction. My gun. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, he's gonna pay for this. Like, just putting a loaded gun to your mouth? I can already foresee how you're gonna lose. We're probably gonna just catch you when you're doing this shit and force you. Like, yeah, you really wanna fucking taste your gun? And then we'll be like, oh, I'm gonna fucking shoot now. And then he's gonna be like, oh, yeah, yeah. And he's gonna fucking pass out and be like, ha, huh, see, he wasn't that serious at all. It's probably gonna be something like that. Set up. I feel a cliffhanger incoming. That's it. Oh, they're all fucking hiding in the dark, getting ready for him. And that is today's episode. What happened? A lot happened. Karma beat Mr. Gripper. Holy shit, that was fast. But like, 
He anticipated, right? This is locked in karma who has humbled himself and then thought that the assassin professional would do whatever it takes to win. So we guard against the poison gas. Sure, makes sense. Karma just showing us that he is just probably the most competent person out of our group. And then <laughs> cross-dressing Nagisa is probably, you know, the highlight for everyone watching this show. Everyone just wants Nagisa to do that shit. And yes, Nagisa looks way too good. He looks better than any of the other girls. Even Yuji falls for that shit. Yuji didn't hit on any other girl but Nagisa. And honestly, I feel like Yuji wasn't even a bad kid. He's just a stupid rich kid and he had to learn his lesson. And now he's going to be off to Zaza. Amazing. Remember, guys. Even worse than black tar heroin. Even worse than, you know, crystal meth. The devil's lettuce. You take one hit, it's over for you. You better stay away from that shit. Then, we had like, this kid, Kimura. I don't know what's special about him. He ran really fast, but it's cool to see like other characters get more highlights, right? Every one of them are having their moments. Even Yada, yeah? Fuwa had her like logical deduction moment. Yada was doing her Yakuza like bluff moments. The guys, e e even like um, Terasaka and them, right? The fucking taser shit. And now we have guns. Real fucking loaded guns. That we're fighting another gun user. Who knows what kind of matchup this is going to be. But I think that because he has such a hobby of shoving a gun up in his mouth, maybe we'll have a moment where we'll catch him in the act of this and threaten to shoot him. And then he'll realize that he's actually a coward and he'll like pass out or something. And that's how we beat them non-lethally. And that's it from me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. Until next time, take care.